Hi guys. Um, today I'm going to walk you through one of the projects I'm creating. I'm actually starting my Christmas cards now. Um, it's a little bit late, but fortunately I don't have that many that I have to make that um, I feel like I can't mass produce. So for this one, um, I'm going to walk you through one of the cards I'm going to make for a gift certificate for my mother-in-law. My husband decides to decided to buy her a gift certificate to a spa, but they printed it on this really nice linen paper and it's the size width-wise of a business envelope. And I just don't want to fold it and I don't really want to wrap it either. So what I'm going to do is create a card that'll fit in a business envelope and I'm hopefully I'll be able to make one that has a pocket because I think that would look really nice. And I'm going to walk you through the process um, of myself creating the card base in Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the design I'm going to use is actually one I've already purchased, and it's this Merry Christmas card. And this is a pre-done card that I could stretch out to be the size of a business envelope, but I'm going to have to change it a little bit because I actually want it um, to have the pocket, and I don't have the length necessary. So I'm just going to change um, this card that you saw import so it's just the front panel. So, um, and the purpose of showing like all the steps is so you can see how all the tools interact or how they act in the software. So maybe you can take some of these steps and put them towards your own project or you can duplicate this one. I mean. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the entire image and how you do that is you take your arrow and you click on a piece of the mat and you drag the, a box by holding down your mouse to highlight the entire image. And you see it's selected this image, the lines have come, the lines have appeared telling you the measurements. Now because this image imported as one, I could have just clicked on it, but I've gotten into the habit of dragging and clicking because sometimes I work with things that are ungrouped. And speaking of ungrouping, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go down to ungroup. And what that does, it's gonna is break the image apart into its individual pieces. So what I can do now is I can delete anything here that I see. I can delete letters, I can delete pieces of the snowflake, whatever I choose. So I'm actually going to delete these score lines by taking my mouse and dragging them across. And I'm gonna hit the delete button on my keyboard. Then I'm going to select this rectangle on the outer edge and I'm going to make it smaller because I only want this to be a card front. I'm going to score and fold my card myself. I just only need this to be the front of the card. So I'm going to take this and make it just a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to get the shaping just right. So that looks about right to me, how I want it um, in terms of the border. So what I'm going to do is highlight the entire image again, right click, and hit group. Because I want to put it back together. If I don't take that step of putting it back together, I won't be able to move the entire image. When you click on it, you'll just move one of these little pieces. So now that I have my entire, or my card front changed, I'm going to go up to the scale window here, which is already open. It looks like a piece of candy or three squares connected at their corners. And I'm going to change the dimensions. And for the front of my card, I wanted to fit in a business envelope. And bear with me, I'm just measuring. The width is going to be eight and a half inches. And the height, I'm going to make it three and three fourths of an inch. It could be, it's a hair bigger, but three and three fourths of an inch sounds pretty good. And I'm gonna click apply. Now in this situation, it did distort this card front a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Um, I think it translates fine. In some instances or in some cards from the online store that you wanna change, distorting it does not work. But I think in this instance, it looks fine. So now I have the size right. I'm actually going to go up to File and I'm going to click New so I can create a new tab down here because I want to create some mask um, for this shape out of copy paper. So I'm going to do it in a separate tab down here. So ideally, I would like to, to cover these snowflakes with something else. 
and I want to mask off this um, Merry Christmas and this border around the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my toolbar on the left hand side and I'm going to click the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle roughly the same size as this one. It doesn't have to be perfect, one, because it's a mask on the outer edge, but two, because I can go up to my scale window over here and I can make it perfect. So I'm going to just drag this one out of the way. And I'm going to make this one, this original rectangle, so it's a mask. I'm going to make it eight and a half inches by uh, three and three quarters of an inch. So it's a mask of the outside. Now I need to create an inset rectangle so I can mask off this little portion right through here. So I'm going to select this image. I'm going to go to the offset menu at the top right hand corner of the screen. And I'm going to click on the internal offset button. And my rectangle is already highlighted, so when I click on it, it's going to make a rectangle on the inside. Now you can see this rectangle is really skinny, and it needs to be bigger than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shape here and line this back up right there, and then go back up. It's not perfectly aligned at the top, just on the sides, because that's all I really need. And I'm going to click that second rectangle I made, and then I'm going to make it smaller. I'm just going to scale it down. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. There's an easier way to do this. So let's rewind for just a second. This is the outside rectangle. I'm going to take this one and I'm actually going to delete it. And I'm going to take my original card front and line it up. And as far as I can tell, that seems to be right on. Yeah, you can tell when you have your images lined up pretty well because what will happen is the line will be become a darker red. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm in that offset menu. I'm going to click that other image and make sure, because I want the offset of the rectangle, not of the Merry Christmas and the snowflakes. So I'm going to click internal offset and I'm going to change the distance. And I'm going to keep going in until I finally hit that inside line. And I can see that I've hit it on the sides and it's off just a little bit here at the top. So I'm just going to move it up manually at the top and the bottom. So it lines up. Now I'm going to click on the snowflake just in the middle and select that image and drag it away because I don't need this right now. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to move this away and then I'm going to highlight both of these images because the alignment is right. Actually, let me double check that. I'm actually going to make this a little bigger and this one a little bit taller. Actually, no, never mind. I'm just going to leave well enough alone. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to highlight this one. I'm going to give the border at the bottom just a little bit more. Okay. Um, I'm totally eyeballing this because it's just a paper. I'm just creating a mask out of this one out of copy paper. So I'm going to highlight this entire image down here at the bottom. Right click and hit group. So that way I can move both of these rectangles together. And I need to move this to the second tab that I opened. So I'm going to click it, right click and hit cut because I want it to go away. Move this one back in my cutting space. And then on the second tab, I'm going to right click again and then hit paste. So now I can cut this piece out of copy paper, this mask here. And then I'm going to go back to my first tab with my Merry Christmas image on it and create one more um, 
paper mask for this section here. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool, zoom in a little bit. And for this one, I probably can just create it this way. Probably won't need to do an offset. So there's that darker red line, so I know I'm on it. And then I'm going to click it, the snowflake image, and drag it away so I can get this one. And do the same thing. I'm going to cut it, go back to that second tab, right click, and hit paste. So now I have my two pieces I'm going to use for masking, and then I have my actual card front here. So I'm going to cut these out and put the card together and show you what it looks like. 